Good morning, Eagles. Happy Thursday. It is time for us to start another amazing Olin day. Every day we take a moment to honor our country with the Pledge of Allegiance. At this time, I'd like you to please stand and face the flag. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Eagles, today I'd like to talk to you about strength. In the movies, we often see heroes who are very big and strong. So I'm thinking like Marvel movies. That's what we see, right? On television, we see strong athletes on the football field and the baseball field and on the basketball court. But being a strong human being does not necessarily mean having a big, strong body. Being a strong human being can also mean having a strong mind. So maybe we should go like this, strength. A mind that is strong can be smart, responsible, and fair. So let's listen to these wise words. Greatness lies not in being strong, but in the right use of strength. In other words, we can have strong bodies and strong minds. But what matters the most is that we use our strong bodies and minds in the right way. So today, let's take some time to think about your strengths and how you use them. Be the great person who you are and use your strengths in the best way that you know how. Today's featured lunch item is a barbecue rib sandwich on a whole grain bun, a salad with beans, fresh strawberries, and your choice of milk. Mm -mm, yummy. Thank you, food services staff, for providing the children in Brea with delicious and nutritious meals. Today's animal facts are about an animal that I didn't even know existed until our friend Everett told me about it. The animal is a dog breed known as the Hug. What a great name. Here's a picture of a hug. Here's another picture of a hug. I'll go back to the first one because that's like a classic hug. Okay, when you look at this dog, you might be able to figure out why it's called a hug. Because it is a mix of a husky and a pug. Hug. I love it. Now, their name actually is a really good indication of what they're best at. These dogs are cuddlers. They are very, very affectionate. They are known to be very good with children and have a very cheerful nature and are not aggressive at all. They play very well with other animals and have the intelligence of a husky with the affection of a pug. Now, Everett made this request a long time ago, but I needed to do my research, and now I found out so much more about these hugs. So here we go. They are very active, which means the husky part of their energy needs have to be addressed through regular exercise, which means running around. Even the pugs don't normally do that. These ones do. Um, the hug has physical attributes that are both part of the pug and the husky, but its exact appearance may be unpredictable depending on which characteristics they inherit from their parents. Um, many of them have that squashed face appearance from their pug family, and um, they also have that dark mask and the flat pointy ears. Um, that's a pretty dominant trait, so almost all of these dogs are going to have that. Um, they do still have that muscular and stocky body with a curly or a straight tail. And then the husky piece comes in with their coat. They are shedders. Lots of shedding to deal with when it comes to a hug dog. 
Um, some other things that you should know is this also comes from the husky part of them. They are very loyal and intelligent, which means they need to be obedience trained. Some dogs, if you do not obedience train them, they can become difficult around the house, like they'll rip things up. So this dog is one that definitely needs you to train it and give it exercise. They also are known to be couch potatoes sometimes. So you'll see them sitting in bed, falling asleep, and I think that's why sometimes they can get a little bit too big for their own health. So that's again why we need to make sure we give them exercise. Okay, that is enough about hugs. And it is time for me to go, and it's time for you to learn. Let's soar, Olinda, and make it a great day. Fly by, eagles.